nearly 100 years later, this view has done a 180. Businesses are now promoting voyages into the Arctic, where you can experience the magical land of icy fjords, jagged mountains, and immense glaciers, accessing areas previously visited by only the most daring explorers. Yet even this idea may turn around again as the threat of climate change looms over the Arctic. Tourism was virtually non-existent in northern Canada until the end of the 20th century. Yet today, it has become one of the largest generators of employment in the Canadian North, and the ocean environment especially is one of the fastest growing sectors of the world's tourism industry. Within this setting, the cruise industry has flourished from its meager beginnings in the 1980s to over 25 cruises in six different vessels through Canada's Northwest Passage alone in 2008. You may ask why we are even discussing this growing sector of the Canadian economy, given its healthy progression. Well, consider this. The Arctic sea ice is melting. Less ice means easier navigation among the islands of existing cruise routes, as well as the opening up of more routes further north in the Canadian Arctic archipelago. It also means an ocean navigation season longer than the three months between July and October. During land-based excursions, there will be more access to ecotourism, sport hunting, and wildlife viewing. This all sounds great, right? Well, consider that when it warms, all those icy fjords and immense glaciers advertised earlier will be dramatically resculpted. The loss of the picturesque snow and ice itself will be a blow to potential tourist interest. The flora and fauna will alter as the ecosystems they inhabit adapt to the warming climate. The beloved polar bear and whale populations may move further north to stave off extinction. And in addition to these tourist-minded disadvantages, it is also more dangerous for the cruise's captains to navigate as icebergs drift further south. What will the future hold for Canadian Arctic tourism? This is yet to be determined. But there is one thing we can be sure of. Companies will capitalize on their opportunity to make a profit advertising last-chance tourism. The polar regions have already claimed a spot on the list among the diminishing Amazon rainforest, the sinking Maldives, the disappearing Great Barrier Reef, and the flooding of Venice as destinations to see before they disappear. So you better get that shot of the polar bear while you still can.